Hi, and welcome to Go, Building DevOps Tools, Section 4 Overview of Pork. In this section, what we're going to do is we're going to go over what Pork is. Pork is a project that we're going to work on throughout the remainder of this course, and it is a GitHub project forker. So in the first part, we're going to talk about what Pork will do and give an explanation, and then we're going to move on to preparation where we're going to create our local project and get it ready with all the files that we need for development. So what will Pork do? The purpose of Pork is to allow us to fork projects on GitHub. So normally when you use GitHub you can go to the web page and you can find a project that you want to fork and you can click the fork button and this will fork the project to your own profile. This tool is going to provide a simpler interface for us so that we can easily fork our repositories from the command line and work with them and submit changes back to the developers. It will make it easier for us to find repositories, fork them, and submit pull requests from the command line. The feature sets of pork include searching of repositories on the command line using keywords, cloning of repositories to your local system, forking of a repository to your profile in GitHub, and then submitting a pull request back to the original developer so that you can have your changes included in the project. So this is the subset of the GitHub API that we're going to work with throughout this project. Of course, the GitHub API is much larger than just these features, but at least for now, this is what we're going to work on. So I hope that you enjoy this course and let's get started.